In this video, I'll be showing you how to use S3 basic CLI commands and how to use S3 API. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now for free tutorials and computer related tips. And now, let us get started. So the AWS S3 syntax is going to be AWS, then S3, and then after that it comes a lot of other parameters. So I'm going to start by creating a new bucket by using MB which is make bucket. So it's going to be MB and then always use S3 and double dots and then slashes and then you say like the name of the bucket. So I'm going to create a bucket called dots way. So the bucket now is created. Next thing, I'm going to show you how to delete a bucket. To delete a bucket, you can use RB, which is remove a bucket. And if the bucket is not empty, you can always use hyphen hyphen and then force. To list all the buckets that been created or in your account, just run AWS S3 and then ls and since i have only one bucket it did less it like dots way is the one that we've created so let us start now by creating a folder and i'm going to call it maybe s3 then dots way and i'm going to create some files so one dot text two dot text and three dot text copying the files to the s3 bucket so it's aws s3 then copy and the file name and i'm going to copy only the w the one dot text to the bucket that we've just created what if you want to copy the folders and the files recursively so i'm going to create inside so here, if, if you list, you're going to find that we have three files. I'm going to create another folder. I'm going to call it like folder two. And inside folder two, I'm going to create another file. And I'll call it again, one, one dot text. To copy all the files, I'm going to use AWS, S3 again, CP. And then I'm going to say dot. It's going to be inside S3 dot sway. And then I'm going to add the hyphen hyphen and then recursive now all the files been copied also the folder was created and one one dot text inside that folder also was added you can also use ls to list everything inside the bucket so if i say aws s3 and then ls s3 and the name of the bucket which is dots way it's going to list everything. So we have here the folder two and then the three files. If I want to list everything inside folder two, you can add it that way, then run it again and you can find one one dot text. You can also use extra options like adding grants or changing the storage class or even change from here the access control list and make a file public or private. So let us create another file. I'm going to call it firmtest.txt. And again, I'm going to copy that file, firmtest, to dots way. But this time, I'm going to show you how to add grants or change the storage class. To add grants, just make hyphen hyphen and grants and then add the permissions. To add ACL, so for example, I want to make that file public to everyone. I can make ACL, and after that, I'm going to make it public read. File was uploaded, and it has also the public read ACL. You can use sync to sync all the files from a certain folder to the bucket. So if I created more files here, like more1.txt, Two dot text, three dot text, and then I run AWS S3 sync all the files from the current folder that I'm in to dots way. 
it did sync it and found like three files were added. By running sync option, it's only adding or modifying the files. But if you delete one file and you run sync, it will never gonna delete the files from the bucket. So let's test that. So I'm gonna delete Mordo2 for example, and then I run sync again, and nothing happened, it didn't delete the file. If I wanna do the delete to and I force it to delete any files, you need to add one extra option, which is hyphen hyphen, and then delete. So it found out that this file was deleted, and it deleted the file. If you wanna sync everything, and also delete, and exclude one file, you can add hyphen hyphen delete and then exclude and you say the name of the file that you want you want to ignore for example if it's more three even if it's deleted it's not going to be deleted from the bucket there's something else other than s3 another command that's called s3 api with s3 api you can have an output of a json format so for example if you run aws s3 api and then I'm going to list all the objects from the bucket name dots way. You're going to get all the files, but in a JSON format, which is very useful for developers or if you are having any kind of uh, application and you want to put the JSON format maybe in a table or be used later on. So in that video, we've learned everything you need for AWS S3 CLI basic commands. Until we meet again, bye.